something today we will talk about uterine artery ligation a very important step in the management of postpartum hemorrhage what is uterine artery ligation bilateral uterine artery ligation is a fertility preserving procedure used in women experiencing postpartum hemorrhage however the long term effects of this procedure on ovarian function remains unclear what are the aims of uterine artery ligation first of all it is used to prevent the hemorrhage from the body of the uterus although it is not suitable for the lower segment cervical hemorrhage and pericolpus secondly it helps to reduce reduce the blood loss in 80 to 90 percent of the cases now we will talk about the procedure of uterine artery ligation i will take care of aseptic measures under good light exposure and anesthesia i will make sure that bladder is dissected adequately and resected downward to prevent vesicouterine trauma or the involvement of ureter i will exteriorize the uterus and ask my assistant to hold the uterus and pull upward with a fundus tilted to opposite side to apply suture on one side and exposing the lower part of the broad ligament the suture material used is number 2 or number 1 absorbable suture i will palpate the cervix and feel for the pulsations of uterine artery near the junction of uterus and the cervix Using number 2 or number 1 chromic absorbable suture on a large needle pass the needle around the artery 2 to 3 cm medial to the lateral edge of uterus via myometrium from anterior to posterior then the stitch is passed via a vascular area of the broad ligament and then tie anteriorly place the suture as close to the uterus as possible as the ureter is generally 1 cm lateral to the uterine artery and 2 to 3 cm below the transverse uterine line repeat the same procedure on the opposite side if artery has been torn clamp and tie the bleeding ends It is advisable to ligate ovarian arteries also with the uterine arteries because of anastomosis between the two. Ligate the uterovarian artery just below the point where ovarian suspensory ligament join the uterus. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Observe for continued bleeding and hematoma formation. Examine carefully for bladder injury and repair it if found any. Ensure that there is no bleeding. Place the drain reverse the uterus abdominally close the abdomen in the post operative care provide appropriate care by monitoring the vitals and also watch for the pv bleeding now we will discuss the risk of uterine artery ligation the possible complications of this procedure include first of all abnormal bleeding or hemorrhage secondly injury to the uterus thirdly infection of the uterus or puncture site in the groin Now question arises can a patient get pregnant with uterine artery ligation two prospective control studies compared uterine artery embolization with laparoscopic uterine artery ligation and found pregnancy rate of 51 to 69% miscarriage rate again were variable between 31 to 56% now as we are discussing the postpartum hemorrhage procedure so it's very important to talk about the fluid therapy and blood product transfusion as well from the RCG guideline about postpartum hemorrhage So first very important component is that of the crystallite up to 2 liter of the isotonic crystallite is given second is colloid so up to 1.5 liter of the colloid is given until blood arrives third important point is that if, uh, about uh, blood if immediate transfusion is indicated give emergency group o rsg negative k negative and infection free uh, red cell units switch to group specific red cells as soon as feasible next point is that if the uh, fresh frozen plasma administer fresh frozen plasma and that should be guided by hemostatic testing and whether the hemorrhage is continuing if prothrombin time or activated partial thromboplastin time that is aptd are prolonged and hemorrhage is ongoing administer 12 to 15 ml per kg of ffp that is very important Re- remember 12 to 15 ml per kg and if hemorrhage continues after four unit of red blood cells and hemostatic tests are unavailable administer four units of ffp next is about the platelet concentrate administer one pool of the platelets if hemorrhage is ongoing and platelet count is less than 75 cross 10 is 49 per liter next point is about the cryoprecipitates so administer two pools of cryoprecipitates if hemorrhage is ongoing and fibrinogen is less than 2 gram per liter So thank you so much that was all about uterine artery ligation procedure and the fluid therapy and blood product transfusion protocol from RCG guideline about postpartum hemorrhage
थैंक यू सो मच सब्सक्राइब ऑन ऑप्स एंड गाइनी अल्लाह हाफिज़